In this video, we will create the soul effect in Wondershare Filmora. First, shoot a video where your partner pushes you. Then, import the footage into Filmora 12. Identify a suitable point to start the effect and split the footage. Click on the stopwatch icon and select freeze frame. Identify the endpoint of the effect and shrink the freeze frame to that point. Next, place the playhead at the impact point. Drag the second clip onto track 4, where you pretend to fall. Shift the main footage to track 1. Go to the video, then to AI tools, and select AI portrait. Place the playhead at a point when you're bending forward. Shrink the second footage and position it again at the impact point. Now go to the basic tab and adjust the scale if necessary. Position it on the original footage person using the X and Y coordinates. Add keyframes for the transform and opacity. Change the blending mode to screen and set the opacity to 0%. Go about 6 frames further and change the opacity to 100%. Change the X and Y positions to place it outside the main footage, with the Y value around 95. After 7 frames, change the X position to negative 51 and the Y position to 162. Place the playhead about 1 second forward and set the rotation to negative 69. Change the X position to negative 553 and the Y position to 170. Review your effect. Place the playhead 5 frames after the last keyframe. Add blank keyframes for transform and opacity. Then place the playhead after 5 frames and change the X position to negative 223 and the Y position to 126 near the person in the main footage. One frame before the end, change the position of the first keyframe, for example, x equals 437 and y equals 36. Set the rotation to zero. Go a few frames back on the opacity keyframe, then at the end, change the opacity to 0%. Next, place the playhead in the middle of the second clip. Go to the curves and adjust the alpha curve towards the brighter side. Adjust the blue curve to the blue side. Finally, adjust the exposure brightness, and contrast according to your needs. Identify the point for the screenshot. Then hide track 1 and take a snapshot. Unhide track 1 and place the snapshot at the playhead position on track 3. Keep it there for 3 seconds and 10 frames. Next, place the playhead at the start and change the blend mode to screen. Set an opacity keyframe and change it to 0%. Apply transform keyframes. After 12 frames, change the opacity to 100%. Position X to negative 40, position Y to 41. Then after another 12 frames, change position X to negative 80, position Y to 82, and rotate it by negative 27. After two frames, change the opacity back to 0%. Now place the playhead in the middle of the snapshot. Go to the mask section and place the pen tool to create a mask around the back of the person. Enable the Invert Mask option and increase the blur strength to around 14.5. Review the effect. After that, go to the effects and apply the BCC Fast Lens Blur effect on the snapshot. Change the iris scale to 4. Then go to the Boris FX Light folder and apply the BCC 3D Lens Flare effect. Keep it for one second. From the preset options, select the Z Glow Ball preset. Scroll down and expand the flare settings. Change the flare color to blue and increase the intensity slightly. Next, launch the Mocha Motion Tracker. Place the light source and light source search area on the impact point and track the motion. Click on Save and close the window. Define the flare position using offset X and Y. Scroll up and change the global intensity to zero. Then after four frames, increase the intensity as needed. After eight frames, change the global intensity to 0%. Apply an adjustment layer on track 1 to darken the environment after the impact. Set keyframes for temperature and exposure. After 6 frames, decrease the exposure and change the temperature towards the cold side. At 3 seconds and 10 frames, add a blank keyframe for temperature and exposure. At the end, reset the temperature and exposure. Now place the playhead at the start of the effect. Go to the effects and search for the magnify effect. Drop it on the playhead position on track 5. Keep it for one second. Set the thickness to zero, the zoom rate to 8.87, and the radius to eight. Position the magnifier on the person and adjust its Y position. Set keyframes for zoom rate and radius. After seven frames, increase the radius to 84 and the zoom rate to 9.68.
Then, after two frames, change the radius to 100, and after another two frames, change the zoom rate to zero. Let's render it to see the preview. If you want the movement to continue without stopping, then remove this keyframe. Let's render it to see the final preview. If you're interested in more creative editing, check out filmora.wondershare.com.